Hello, my friends. Uh, first, I should apologize because I said in the last video that I would not make any more videos. And here I am again. To be honest, releasing the last video and seeing all you guys again in the chat, getting so much support from you guys made me change my mind. It seems that a lot of people miss my videos. And if I give up on YouTube, I don't really know a better way to get information out. We are using the platform of the enemy. It sounds like a very bad idea, but hey, it worked for many years. I don't want to give up the fight for freedom, so let's continue fighting. In this video, we will discuss the Mars One company. I made a few videos about them already. The last one was around one year ago. It's time for another update, because they were planning to launch a rocket to Mars next year in 2020. Let's go take a look on their website. Uh, please come back later. What's wrong? Oh look, I found this article on Forbes. Goodbye Mars One, the fake mission to Mars that fooled the world. Four years ago, you couldn't go a day without hearing about Mars One. Outlets including the Washington Post, the BBC, CNN, Fox News and many more were swept up by the project's promise of colonizing Mars, despite scientists ruthlessly and regularly pointing out its flaws. Uh, which scientists do they mean, because I never seen anything from scientists talking against Mars One, or maybe do they mean me with scientist? I'm not a scientist, I'm pretty sure. Now the false promise is over. According to a notice from the civil court of the city of Basel in Switzerland, picked up by the Swiss newspaper Landboat and on Reddit, Mars One Ventures, a British company bought by a Swiss firm in 2016 and one of two entities behind the project, has been declared bankrupt as of January 15, 2019, with less than 25,000 in its accounts. The company has now been dissolved. Oh, that makes me so sad, so this is gonna be the last mission update. I was looking forward so much to this, it was so easy to expose them and it was so much fun to expose them. And now they are bankrupt, oh man. Maybe I should contact Bas Lansdorp, the guy who started all of this, maybe he's doing something else funny right now. I kinda wonder where all the money went, because they made a lot more than 25,000, I, I mean income from the fans. I made a video about this a long time ago. How come all those private space companies go bankrupt? Except for SpaceX of course. Do you remember Virgin Galactic, the company that promised everyone that they would be able to fly in space? The company was started in 2004 and planned their first flight in 2009. They sold trips to space, that is, if you could afford it, because the price was $250,000. And if my sources are right, they sold 650 of those seats. That's a lot of money. But it seems that as soon as those seats were sold, the company went quiet. Their flights were delayed every time again and it took them almost 10 more years to do the first flight. That was in December of 2018. However, there is very little footage that can be found from this and it looks pretty fake to me. It was a test flight. Their 650 customers are still waiting for their flight. I hope they can get a refund. And then there is this other company, Blue Origin that was founded in 2000, they also promised to take people in space. We're almost 20 years later and it didn't happen yet. There are many delays. They are now making moon landers and shooting cubesats into space. You don't hear much about their human space flights anymore. And then I think the only one left is Boeing. They were planning to bring people to the ISS for NASA, but it didn't happen yet. They are also having issues and delays, but I think they will do it soon, just like SpaceX is doing for NASA. NASA pays them both billions of dollars for this by the way. And that's it people. There are no other private space companies that promise to get us to space. So there is not much hope if you want to be an astronaut. 
your best bet is to go work for NASA or ESA. Maybe we should create a new space company. I think it's easy to get millions of dollars from people by promising them to go to space. We hire a few 3D designers to make some nice fancy models and some animators to use those models in fancy animations. Then we will go give public talks and make some nice stories to go with the animations and people will be lining up for a ticket. We can use the money to buy a few other companies and transfer all the money there and finally we let the space company go bankrupt. No one will be able to blame us as we tried our best to get to space. It's just too expensive, man. I was planning to name the company NADA, as it means doing nothing, but it seems that the North Korean people already have a space company with that name. I wonder what they are doing. Alright, nothing. Anyway, this video is getting too long for a company that doesn't exist anymore. I wish I had better news about the mission, but there is no more mission. If you are one of the Mars One fanboys, I'm sorry mate, you lost your money. I'm sad for this, I really mean it. I was looking forward to see them shoot you into space for a one-way trip. If you think I'm wrong and you know about other private space companies that promise to shoot people into space, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it and I would love to research it. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope to see you again very soon in the next video.